Welcome back. School is still out. It's Friday of my spring break. Yesterday we fished down in Milwaukee for brown trout. I landed a really nice one. And today, Jordan of Wolfpack Adventures has told me that we are going to be fishing the Sheboygan River for brown trout. He says there's a chance that we'll catch more fish here, but they might run a little bit smaller than the one we got yesterday. Uh, we're also going to be fishing with Tyler Chisholm of Wolfpack Adventures, as well as the creator of the Automatic Fisherman. Um, I'm really excited about it. Let's get after it. Captain Tyler oh, Chisholm on the rod. Yeah, why did I grab this? Dave, you should have this under here. Nope. We got Jackson Penny. <laughs> this is my second fish I've caught in all season. <laughs> Kyler, stand up here so when you're with the hole. Bob, this is like what we talked Come about. Come on, man. Cool. Make it look exciting. <laughs> this would be this would be like my second. <laughs> second or third, something like that. It's a little bigger than I thought. Yeah, is it a nice one? Is it a big healthy pike? It could be a big healthy pike. What do you got on you? Swan sack? Brown spawn. And what color is it? Brown? Brown spawn, yeah. Oh, oh it's brown trout spawn. Brown trout spawn. <laughs> yeah. I released a brown trout this morning before I got here. It's a steelhead. It's a nice steelhead. A nice steely. Yeah. Oh! oh. Hey. Yep! That's that is not a hen, is it? That's a. That's what I thought. <laughs> Would that one bite on Tyler? That one bit on spawn sack. So this is. Uh, we don't get to catch them very often. So this is a treat for, for me to catch a fish here. That's awesome. Yep. We're gonna put that back and let somebody else catch them. Well, was that the most exciting? That thing was in your exciting. Life? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi everybody at home. My name's Tyler. We're moving spots. All right. We caught the only fish in this hole. You know, all you need is one, right? Yeah, so. how long have we been here, do you think? Uh, we've been here probably about an hour, hour and a half, maybe. So the game um, plan is, if they're not going, if find somewhere they are. Right. In right. the river, um, it's a little different than the marina. You're not just camping out for the day. In the river, uh, you, you fish for an hour, hour and a half in a spot, you rip your lines, and you move. There's right. a lot of spots in the river, so we're going to cover a lot of area today. That sounds great. Stay tuned. All right, explain everything about this setup, Tyler, if you would. All right, so today we are fishing in the river for trout versus fishing in the marina for trout. In the river for trout, we're using just a little bit different setup. We got a little bit heavier of a rod. This is a 32 inch medium heavy rod, and we're running a quarter ounce egg sinker to a bobber stop. So it stops that egg sinker from getting too far. I'm gonna run about a 18 to 20 inch lead to my hook, and we run number eight, uh, Gamagatsu hooks. They're a super sharp, super tacky hook. They're a very durable hook, and that's important for trout fishing. So you can pick, and the best part is you can pick these up at any local tackle store here uh, in the area. Flea Farm has them and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is we're running these in the Automatic Fisherman. Now this Automatic Fisherman base is a super durable base. It's uh, made out of plastic, but it won't break, and uh, you can kick it, you can do whatever. That's why we run the Automatic Fisherman. It's a it's just a really uh, durable product. So now I'm gonna grab, uh, this is called Ice Stopper. It's a de-icer fluid that we fill up our bobbers with inside this little chamber here. Now I'm gonna pop that close, and you can see that there's a fluid running out of that bobber. So I get that down in the water there and I'm gonna send this, that weight, all the way down to bottom. We're gonna find bottom here. There, I'm on bottom, okay. I'm gonna reel about, my trigger mechanism is gonna be here, so that's where about where I want my, my rod tip right now. I'm gonna put that in there. So we're running six pound monofilament, super light, super finesse for these trout. And I'm gonna hook this, this eyelet 
right in the trigger mechanism of the automatic fisherman. Now my bait is on bottom, but in the spawn sacks I have small floats that allow that, that uh, spawn sack to float up off the of bottom so that the trout can come up and see them. And this bobber that's in between the first two eyelets here, just an indicator bobber. So when that fish comes up, it has time to grab that line, turn away from the hole, and as soon as that bobber gets tight, wham, it's gonna get the hook set on it. Now you can fight a fish on a rod and reel versus hand lining it in like a tip up. So when we're fishing the river, we like to drill an angle into the ice versus, um, you know, if we're fishing somewhere where there's not as much current, we'll drill it straight up and down. As you can see, the angle is just straight up and down with the auger. But with the river, we got a little bit more current flowing down. So we're actually gonna um, drill it on an angle downward. So it's gonna be facing more downstream. So when that fish comes in from down, um, down river, it's gonna be a lot easier for that fish to fit up the hole versus a straight up and down hole. So if you want, I'm just gonna tilt this a little bit back. Well, here we are, spot two. Moving to spot three. All right, we got one. Start, start. Let's and then two. just reel. Two. And then, yep, we wanna keep the keep the. Uh, I'm gonna get on this side. Bend in the pole. Put right here. This is the first fish you've ever gotten on an automatic fisherman, correct? Yep. Yep. Well, you got a smile on you. And you think it's a steelhead, Jackson? Yeah, it's a definite steelhead, I think. All right. The way it's running. And you've never caught a trout through the ice, period, is that right? That's right. That was me yesterday. First time. I almost don't need the hat over I lost. Wow. That's a steely. Nice one, too. That's a steely. Maybe this one will have two hooks in its mouth. <laughs> Holy cats. That's a, it's a way better for a while, so just <laughs> That's a way better fight than what I had yesterday, that's for sure. You're gonna be here for a while, so <laughs> just... <laughs> try a ten minute fight. Really? Yeah. I had on on for half an hour. Nice and slow. Getting close? I don't know. He's definitely right by the hole. Not anymore, he's not close. So how's it going, Nick? Going good. You liking this? Oh yeah. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? You can catch this these big fun. fish on light line like this. You got a six pound test on a rod and reel. Look at that. This is actually where I caught my biggest steelhead of my, well, of my life, I guess, was yeah. right here. I was fishing for carp with worms oh, okay. in the summer with my dad and uh, bit it was jumping all out of the water and everything. It was incredible. This was uh, middle of July. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's, it's right a nice here. female. I think it's a female. Or it's a steely for sure. But. Yeah, it's a steely for sure. They fight like that. That's their characteristic yep. long runs. Browns just normally just get the hole and Yeah, head shake, head, yep. head shake, head shake, head shake, head shake. Wow. This is crazy. Somebody gets to bite a hole to say, okay, lift. Yep. Or, you know. He's right here. Nice and easy. Not a hurt. Right there. Not a hurt. <laughs> nice and easy. What do you think of this, Nick? It's fun. Oh, you got a lot of right there. The common problem a lot of guys make is the fish will open up their mouths and they'll plant it. Right on the bottom of the ice, yeah. you lift and you'll pull that fish right out. He's right here. I think it's a female. It's an easy. Ooh, that's a Just tell him, just tell him to lift. Just get it in the Lift hole. slowly when, when this bobber comes up out of the water, lift slowly. Okay. Just tell him. Lift slowly. He's right here. It's a nice female. Yeah. It's a nice steely. 
Well, that's a day. Got two nice fish through the ice, both male steelhead. That was exciting. I'm glad that we were able to do that. These guys had a fun time too. And that's the best part of this style of fishing. You get to hang out with a group of buddies and just kind of shoot the breeze. Wait, we're buddies? Have fun. Uh, wow. I wasn't talking about all of them, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a Chinese buffet calling our names right now. That's where we're headed. What do you guys think about Chinese buffet? Oh, it's gonna be a beat down. <laughs> Are we gonna beat down on the Chinese buffet harder than we beat down on the fish? Yes. <laughs> I'm here with Carrie from The Automatic Fisherman. You're the inventor of The Automatic Fisherman and marketer, things like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, why would somebody buy an Automatic Fisherman if they're just getting into fishing or maybe into trout fishing? Why would they go with an Automatic Fisherman? Well, in my opinion, as a fisherman, not a business owner, I would say, you know, for a, a novice angler, the Automatic Fisherman product is just a way easier product to understand and, and fish with than a tip-up is for the simple fact that you have a rod and reel to fight your fish. The drag on the reel does the work for you. The rod is your shock absorbing section. So you can have a six year old kid, seven year, 10 year old kid fighting a big fish with a rod and reel and they have a way better chance of landing that fish with a rod and reel. Um, and then with this product, you know, the automatic actually sets the hook for you. So when the rod snaps up, it sets that hook. So one of the hardest things about tip-up fishing is you, you get a flag. All right, when do you set the hook? You know, everybody says, well, you gotta wait for it to run. Well, you don't know how long that tip-up's been up. So well, with the autos, it's like, bang, that rod sets the hook right away or you have the option of letting that fish have two feet of slack with what we call our slack bobber. So you can literally let the fish have two feet of pure slack line with this system before the rod sets the hook. So with using the autos, I, I think, in my opinion, it's a way better product than anything on the market. And the best part about it, it's made in the United States. You know, this whole product right here has a 20 year replacement warranty to it. It's made in the United States and our, our stainless steel triggering system has a lifetime warranty to it. So if you haven't already got one, go buy one, go check them out. It's an awesome product. Thank you. <laughs>